everyone, it's Cardly. Thanks for coming back to my channel. So today is a very special day. It is Tuesday. I didn't vlog yesterday because to be honest, yesterday was not a great day. I didn't sleep the night before and so I just had a very sleepy, tired, not great day. Um, but I definitely wanted to vlog this week because this week was a lot of fun things. I wanted just to kind of chat a little bit about um, my appointment that I had. I had to go to the gynecologist today and I was panicked. <laughs> um, I don't like going there. I don't think anyone really enjoys it, but I just don't like it. And I've been pushing it off and pushing it off and pushing it off. But I do have an IUD that it was up in three years and I hit my three mark, three year mark. And so it was time to go. And so I just thought I would share my experience because I don't know, I get so scared but when i see other people going like i just tell myself like kim kardashian goes here or like sophia bush goes here you know like it just helps make it not as scary so i thought i would share my experience because i did get the iud removal which i was very nervous about um i got a pap smear which i was also very nervous about and i was just nervous about the whole thing um so yeah i just got done and as you can see i'm alive i'm well i'm smiling i feel so much better that i went i think that's why i was having such a bad day yesterday because I was just so nervous about it and I think I was just projecting that and everything but there's truly no reason to be nervous about it. Um, I have a great great doctor which I think helps. I think if you don't have a great doctor then it's it's not so much enjoyable when you're there and you just don't feel comfortable uh, but my doctor is wonderful and I absolutely love her so I hope that you guys are able to find one uh, that fits your needs and that you're comfortable with and you can ask questions. Um, so I went in today, as I mentioned, to get my ID out and I had, I did the worst thing that you could ever do before an appointment and that was research. <laughs> and I heard that it's an easy procedure, that it comes out really quick, it feels like a tampon. And then there was that other side that talks about, you know, if it's stuck in there, then they'll have to do like a minor surgery. And I was just like, <laughs> um, so I go in and she first did my pap smear. I think the technique is different maybe for every doctor, but she said that she wanted to do that first. So by the time that the IUD comes out, I'm all done. Um, so she did the pap smear first, which I was so nervous seeing the little brush. I was like, no, don't touch right. Um, but it seriously feels like nothing. Like it was probably three seconds. Like she just did a little swipe. That was it. I didn't even feel it. I think what I feel the most is like the little clamps opening up like that is the most uncomfortable part and it's not even uncomfortable you're just like something's there and I don't like it um but the pap smear was so quick and easy and I will get my results mailed to me in two weeks um she said that she's not worried about anything but it's just great to get it um I think it's as soon as you're 20 one i believe as soon as you're 21 or when you become sexually active it's very important um because you just want to take care of yourself and you just want to make sure everything is right um so that should be coming soon and then after that i had the id removal which was so stinking easy if you guys are close to having to get yours out it's so easy i will say i'm not gonna lie getting it in was the most traumatic experience for me it was very traumatic and i just but i didn't go i went to planned parenthood which is an amazing option if you don't have health care it's a great resource but i just felt like i didn't really ask many questions i just went in picked one and that was it and it just it wasn't great it didn't feel right it just hurt whatever um so it was always time to get it out and the procedure was so quick and so easy she just counted to three she was like i'm gonna count to three and i'm gonna pull it out and then it'll be done and so she counted to three i didn't even feel it that's the craziest part i didn't even feel like a tampon felt like nothing it she just went one two three and it was out and that was it um i did have a little bit of spotting which is normal um i feel like every time you go to the gynecologist i usually get like a tiny bit of cramping um but other than that i'm normal i'm fine i feel so much better and we were able to map out a new birth control plan for me and yeah it was just a great experience yeah, it was just the quickest easiest thing in the world and i just wanted to share that with you guys because i know how scary it can be um but it shouldn't be and it's very important that we go and we take care of ourselves and be in the know with our bodies. Um, so yeah, I just thought if you're on the fence about going for the first time, hopefully right, the color is really weird. Um, but if you're on the fence about going, just consider me a friend. Good morning, everybody. I'm just popping on my skincare and I thought that I would start the vlog here. Uh, I'm just going in with my little vitamin C. This is from Green Tangerine or it's like from, yeah 
green. I don't know. I'll have it linked below. <laughs> I love it. Um, but I thought I'd start the vlog right now because today is going to be a very, very, very exciting day. So it is almost nine o'clock and um, it's Friday morning. I'm so excited. It's Friday and we have some fun things that we have to do. Um, I'm leaving here at 10 to go finally start the production of changing my name now i know some people don't like to change their name when they get married and that's totally fine i think it's something like if you want to do it do it i 100 percent want to do it i want to be a garcia for real i've always wanted to change my name when i get married um yeah so not that that needed an explanation but there you go uh so i'm gonna go and do that today I need to go do the social security office first. I'm pretty sure I have to do that first. I don't know, I'm gonna go there. Um, and then I don't think I'm gonna have time to do the driver's license one today, we'll see. Um, I just put on my moisturizer. This is the PHA Moisture Renewal from Cosrx. I don't know, that's how I say it. Um, and then after that, at 1.30, I'm not gonna get ready for the day because at 1.30, I'm going to get my hair and makeup done because me and Sebastian were asked to be involved in like this wedding shoot. Uh, the photographer is like working with other vendors. So there's like a wedding dress that I have to wear, getting my hair and makeup done, like I said. So um, yeah, this is like all I need to do for my skincare. Um, so it'll be really fun. I thought I'd vlog today. And then um, on Sunday, we're also doing Lagoon Day, Frightmares. Lagoon is like our little theme park here in Utah and it's not that fun to be honest I don't think it's that fun but it's fun around Halloween so they have like little haunted houses and it's all spooky and whatever so we're gonna go with a couple of our friends there as well um so it should be a fun filled weekend so I thought that I would just start the vlog if you guys are new and like my videos don't forget to subscribe. It would really, really mean a lot to me. We are pushing on to a thousand so that I can open my cute little gift over there that Sebastian got me. How stinking cute is he? So yeah, we are working towards that. Oh, we're still working towards that. So thank you everybody who has already subscribed. All my new people, hello. So anyway, I am going, I think I'm also, once I uh, leave here, I think I'm also going to get a coffee because Sometimes I like to get myself a coffee on the weekends and me and Sebastian have been going to the coffee shop like every single oh, every single day this week and not once did I buy a coffee during the week. So I thought that like just validating over here, but just thought like that it'd be fun to at least get myself that. I'm also going to fix my eyebrows. <laughs> Sorry, we are all over the place today, but I hope you guys are having a great day, a great weekend. I cannot believe it is almost the end of November, November, October. It's already the 18th, which is so crazy. So next month on the 15th, we are taking a road trip to Vegas to see Alessia Cara. Like I already, I'm pretty sure I already said, but Sebastian got me tickets to her uh, for my birthday and she's like my favorite person ever um, and we were going to fly we were like teetering back and forth because earlier this summer I flew to Vegas uh, to see my family and it was the easiest freaking trip like it was so fast I loved it um, and once you do that you're like why would I ever drive there but me and Sebastian are gonna drive there. Um, we have just been flying around a ton. This year we've been very lucky to go on so many amazing trips and a lot of them uh, involved flights and we went to Europe and New York and just kind of everywhere. And so it's fun to be able to fly and it's such a convenience, but it's so hard for me and I don't like it. And it's been a while since we've done a road trip. And so we kind of teetered back and forth as we waited so long to get the flights. They were already pretty expensive and they like kept upping the miles that you would need to get a free one and we were like so like a little bit short <laughs> so on Sebastian's miles so just like wasn't working out and we figured like we haven't done a road trip in so long and I kind of like the idea of like getting a lot of snacks getting like podcasts to listen to I don't know it would just be really fun and when we're in Vegas since we don't have family there that lives anymore there anymore which <sighs> was such a luxury but I love that my mom lives here um but you, yeah, it's just like sucks to like buy a hotel and sometimes my mom would be our Uber and so we don't want to pay for Ubers. So we just figured like 
we'll just drive around we have a lot of places outside of the strip that we like to go to eat and stuff um so we'd be paying for ubers and it's just like a whole thing so we thought we'd uh drive and i'm so excited just keep thinking about like the road trip and seeing her i can't think about going to the concert too much because i get too excited and then i start to cry um because i think like she's gonna ask me to go on stage and be her friend and it's gonna be so exciting stay tuned <laughs> anyway i'm gonna stop chatting now and i'm gonna get changed pack my bag get ready to go i also thrifted this lee jacket it's this lee denim jacket yesterday how cute is that anyway so it's just kind of drying i think it's pretty good anyway i gotta i have to focus <laughs> i'm looking a little bit crazy but this is what we're going with today um i have my little bag packed with hopefully all the, the stuff that i need um I last minute remembered that I would probably need like shoes. So I just brought the heels that I wore for my wedding. So hopefully that works out. Um, I'm wearing Sebastian's beanie just until I get my hair done. I'm wearing these sunglasses. I get so many questions on Instagram. Like I get so many DMs whenever I post about these and I feel super bad because they are from Primark. So that's like in Europe. So it's not like pretty sure you can't like order them online. Also like I don't know how where they to have these online but they are from primark if you ever go there get some sunglasses they were like three dollars i've dropped them a thousand million times and they've never like done me wrong they never scratch they never break and i've dropped them a million times so i'm so surprised i still have them from may but there they are and then this is my new thrifted lee jacket it's very like i gotta get it moving it's a little stiff still but it's so cute because i just washed it so i feel like you know when you have to wear something a little bit um but i think it's so cute and then i just have on this little dress it's like a shirt dress very plaid very easy and then i just have on tights um but they're so thick that they'll keep me warm and then these little shoes from forever 21 these little boots so that's what i'm wearing I'm going to grab my bag and let's go let's go get some coffee oh you can't see me but let's go get some coffee <laughs> hello hello it's a little bit later it's probably like an hour later drank all my coffee so i'm feeling better now i have to pee so i have to find a little toilet <laughs> um but i went to the social security office and i cannot even believe how easy that was i will say it was a busy on a friday i didn't even think about that i walked in and i was like oh no but i got in there i was in there for like 30 minutes so actually not that bad um so like 30 minutes i waited and then i got in and i was like i'm not gonna have the right documents because that always happens to me even though i look online something comes up that i don't have um so i walk in and the guy's so nice he's like let me see your id show him he gives me this piece of paper and i'm a garcia <laughs> he said my card my new social security card will be in in a week i can't do i thought i was going to be able to do my license today but i just i don't have the time um and also i look like this so i'm gonna have to do that i'm gonna have to make an appointment to do that but let me show you it's so cute oh abdi so it was super easy so if you guys have like stuff you have to do i hate doing stuff like that hence why it's about to be f six months and i almost said five it's been five months but it's about to be six months and i still haven't done this uh because i just don't like doing that like i avoid things like to-do lists like that like i just don't like doing it so i'm almost done i'm just gonna do like my social and my license those are like the two big ones and then i always have to do banks i don't know is this an easy process i'm so concerned about my passport Ugh, i'm just hoping oh i don't want to have to pay for a new passport i'm just hoping i can like someone told me that you can just like order a new one online which i'm hopeful but i would love to update my picture on my passport because it's kind of ugly anyway i just wanted to let you guys know that my name is officially garcia in the system i had a little morning for newbie but i feel good I feel really good shout out to my mom i had to call her because i was like i don't know the city i was born and i don't know her social or i had to have my dad's too and i was like there's no way she's gonna remember i don't know i just thought i'd try and she has like a weird memory where she remembers everything so she remembered his so i was able to get that and um now i'm off to 
go to get my makeup done. Yeah, I yeah, know. <laughs> Look at this handsome boy. Right, look over to the left. There you go. Uh, other left. Sorry. Your other, that's right. My left. Oh, you're left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's, what's going on, guys? So, we got the car. We're in the Great Salt Lake. I'm a mess at this point. You're so cold, huh? Yeah. Hey, guys. Thank you. Woo! That was so fun. Hello guys, happy Saturday. Oh, happy Saturday. We have been inside for most of the day. Um, but I, I have thought it. I have. I have been out. Oh, Sebastian went on a very fun hike. <laughs> you guys can follow him on Instagram to see how the hike went down. <laughs> Link in bio. Just kidding. I thought that I would um just chat about our shoot yesterday. We're on our way. Put your foot on the gas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're on our way to get some coffee because Sorry. we're about to go do an escape night with uh, Sebastian's family. We had the best time at the shoot last night. It was so fun and I hope that you guys enjoyed kind of seeing a little bit of that process. We get asked to do that a, a bunch of times. It was like our third time that we've been asked to do stuff like that, so it was really fun. The dress was really pretty. The car was so cool to have that car there shooting with it. It was just way, way cool. Um, and yeah, I'll have all of the photographer's information. She is so sweet. Both of the girls were so sweet. Um, there are two photographers there, and yeah, we love them so much. So I'll have all of their information down below if you guys are in Utah and want to book a photographer. So anyway. That is the game plan for today. We don't really have much going on. It is such a gloomy, yucky day. That's why we're all bundled up. I'm wearing this leather jacket, or no, jean jacket again, because it's so cute and very comfy. So yeah, I'm excited to get some coffee. Pump me up for this escape night. It should be fun. Should be fun. Yeah, I'm very excited. So the people know how bad you're yelling at me right now. <laughs> you tell me to go. You is anybody person. else a passenger driver? I'm a little a passenger driver because I want to be safe, Sebastian. So, we're tell him I'm a good driver, though. Come you're on, you're the best driver. You're not going through the drive-thru. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, shit. Mm. Um, Sebastian says that when I sing, it doesn't sound like me. Let me hear your best singing voice. Are you gonna show your best yeah, singing voice? Go, okay. So, when you're singing, I'm saying you sing like not yourself, like. That should be me. Like, I'm just trying to sing like someone, you know? Okay, so sing like if you're singing for yourself. That should be me. <laughs> that was real. No. Like, that's my real voice. That should be me. No, like, that's not real. How is that not you real? Try to sound like Alessia Cara. Go. Sound like Carly. Go. What does Carly sound like? I don't know. You need to find that within yourself. Whoa. It's getting deep. Go. That should be me. Whoa! That was it? You're finding something. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. That should be me. <laughs> Wait, guys. Stop. Out of my coffee. Out of my coffee. I hate this bird. And it's coming to you so far. Should be me holding your hand. Cheers. Oof. Those are so good. Let's know where we're at. Alright, you guys. Welcome to my vlog. Uh, today we're at Alcatraz. Escape the room, fun center. We just <laughs> finished the escape room and we lost. We lost with like, he said that we got really far. But to be fair, like we were with like my whole family. Yeah, and, like, there friends, was a and lot of people. There was just like all Spanish speakers, so yeah. it, was, it was so hard and like. I don't know, and I feel like we're just like yelling like, go get this, get this. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when there's a lot of people, it's hard because like everyone's fighting, not fighting, oh but like, God. I got it, I got it. Um, but he said we did good and that 
10 or five to 10 minutes, we would have had it. It was so much fun. That was so, like, we should do it again. We yeah. should. We gotta do, it do the again. zombie one though. Like the zombie one has so much stuff, it's so fun. Yeah, we did one uh, where we were like locked in a bus. It was really, really fun. We got in trouble the first like five minutes oh because well, no, we had okay. to get hand. No, but the thing is Carly, okay, so we had to actually handcuff ourselves and Carly didn't even do it. Yeah. I left it. No, I'll tell the story. I I got very nervous, so I left it loose enough that I could slip out in case of emergencies. Why did but you? But I get wasn't nervous? gonna tell people that I slipped out. But Sasha's aunt, the first oh person I get just slipped out, and then the lady came and was like, "Did anybody?" Oh, she was pissed. Yeah, she was mad at us, so then we had to start over. <laughs> Yeah, and it was but funny. I didn't tell. I was just like, it was like the first five seconds, and then my aunt's just walking around while everyone was handcuffed. I was like, I how did know. you get out? Because we all slipped out. It was really, really fun, though. Uh, now we're gonna go to Sebastian's aunt's for some games, some fun. I don't know. It'll be fun, but we lost sadly, and That's I couldn't okay. film in there. But it's okay. I mean, honestly, I think most people are supposed to lose so that we can keep coming back. Yeah, that's why they like couldn't. That's why he couldn't tell us the answers or anything in case we come back. Yeah. Oh, I got it. You did the most intense game <gasps> of Doctor. That okay, was crazy. That no, was which one? So is it your turn? One yeah, one pick one. Um, one let's do this one. Okay. Oh, that's too easy. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. It's me, it's me. She got it. <laughs> Easy bread. Oh, I wasn't recording. Are you kidding? Dang it. No, I wasn't kidding, but look, this is the real Carly. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Sunday. Hi. We're getting burritos at Harmon's. Sebastian says Harmon's has some really good breakfast burritos. So that's what we're doing. Oh, I just fell. We're on our way. Look we're at it. We're getting two for one margaritas. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we're, we're in our little sweatsuits and we're going to the lagoon today, people. It's cold, but it'll be very fun. It's cold. It's cold. Like, so frozen. Oh my god, it's so cold. <laughs> you cannot see. I literally just <laughs> fell off the chair. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hi guys, it is editing Carly here because I realized that I didn't end the vlog a couple days ago because um, we went to Lagoon and I just didn't really film anything. We had so much fun. That little last clip that you guys just watched, um, we rode the, uh, what is it called? Rattlesnake ride or something. Uh, we rode that four times. <laughs> in the freezing cold. Uh, we were the only ones on the ride, so every time we kept going around, we kept looking at the worker and the boys were just like, one more time. It was so funny. We just like, we're having the best time on that ride. We were laughing so hard and it was just such a good time. So that's what that last little clip, clip was. Um, we were changing in the car because we were soaking wet. Um, but anyway, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Um, it would really mean a lot to me. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.